We're here in Killington, Vermont, and we are getting ready to take on this ultra beast. We are registered back here somewhere. This is the death march. So I'm going out there. We're gonna rue this thing. We're gonna take this ultra beast on. So we're here at the open house the day before. And we're getting to try out the spear throw, trying to get this down because I don't want to do 30 burpees for missing this damn thing at the end of the race. Here is a little preview of the dreaded swim that everybody talks about in Vermont. It's this giant lake. Not only a giant lake, but it's got a bridge, but they've been nice enough to put a rope ladder up there and also a Tarzan swing. So if you were to skip this obstacle, it's a 90 burpee penalties because it's essentially three parts. So uh, the goal is to get the swim, get the ladder, get the Tarzan swing. If you fail the, the ladder, and the Tarzan swing, 60 burpees, or if you just feel the Tarzan swing, it's 30 burpees. So the goal is to try not to do any burpees after you have to do all this, but uh, definitely you don't want to skip this and have to do 90. It'll just destroy you for the race. Saturday, September 17th, we're in Killington, Vermont. It's what we've been training for. Woo! We're gonna ask for me. We're getting ready to take on this ultra beast. We're going all day, we ain't stopping. We're gonna keep going. Woo! Not tomorrow, not next week, but right here, right now in your home, Vermont. Hold on! Go Bear! <laughs> it is not, come on! You got it, Tone. Come on, Tone. Woo! Let's go. Go, Bear. I'm never gonna make you go bucket carry again. <laughs> We're gonna throw that bucket out that we have. I have it on video. <laughs> Yay! 
Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, it is Tuesday, September 19th, and I am back from Vermont. Uh, unfortunately, I was not able to finish the Ultra Beast. Um, it was just too hard for me to finish. Um, you know, even the months of preparation, I thought my mind, I thought I was ready. My body was not ready for this thing. It is hard, guys. Uh, if you're gonna go, if you think about training for Vermont Ultra Beast, start today, not tomorrow, not next week. You guys need to start training today because that thing is no joke. Even the Beast alone is freaking hard. The Ultra Beast, six of us went, only one of us finished, and uh, much respect to Eric, was the only guy in our group who was able to finish. Some of those obstacles out there, I mean the swim, the bucket climb was, oh, the bucket climb was horrible, guys. Uh, it took me, I actually timed it 21 minutes to just to do the bucket climb. Uh, the uh, death march, again, uh, I didn't time it. I'm assuming a lot of people are saying it took them an hour, hour and 15. It felt like I was up there forever, and it took me, it felt like it took me forever to get back down, too. Uh, I felt that was like over a two hour process just going up and coming back down, just for me. Uh, my legs, and my technique was not ready for trying to conquer this thing as fast as uh, I needed to finish. But you know what, I have no regrets. Just doing the Beast two years ago in Vermont, I was sore for like a week straight. I had to take Monday as a vacation day after. Uh, Tuesday I even called out sick from work because I couldn't walk. Uh, I was back to work this time on Monday. So I have to say at least my, uh, my strength has gotten better but I just wasn't physically ready to conquer this Ultra Beast. So um, no shame in not finishing. I gave it 100% while I was out there. If you are gonna train for that Spartan Vermont, especially Ultra Beast, guys, train today. Start today, your diet, your exercise, your running, cause you're gonna need it. It is absolutely no joke out there. So uh, just wanna thank everybody that gave me support uh, throughout this time. Uh, it meant a lot that everybody was encouraging me and just wanted me to succeed out there and uh, you know hey you don't win them all but uh, you keep your head up and you move forward. <laughs>